So I decided to give up booze and save for a retro camper van. After managing to break the binge drinking cycle, I own my own camper van. This is Ruby. She needs some work, I've only just got her. But I've made her look cute for now. Next plan is to do all of the renovation work and stay alcohol free. So over a year ago, I decided that I'd had enough of drinking, had enough of getting wrecked, and to save up and use the money that I would have spent on booze to buy my vintage camper van. And I managed to get the van last year. She's called Ruby. She's named after my nana who passed away. And um, this is Bertie. Come here, say hello. This is Bertie. Bertie was my nana's dog, and we go on adventures together and live a sober fun life. So this is the exact reason I quit drinking and saved up for my own vintage camper van. Today I have got Bertie who I'm looking after for a week because my granddad's going on holiday and we're going to the lakes for the night. We've got a site booked, we've got a fridge full of alcohol free beers, we're going to do some walking and we're just going to chill out and have a really nice night just me and him and that over party at the minute any day. <laughs> Oh, I'm just about to drive home in my camper van after my first ever solo festival and first ever sober festival and I had the absolute best time. Last night was just incredible. I joined a conga, I was one of the last to get off the dance floor. I was on such an actual high, dancing around, hundreds of women, emotions, oh my god, I had tears in my eyes. My jaw is aching from smiling and nothing else. Right, five, is it five hours? Five hours, five yeah. hours after meeting these two people for the first time, we have climbed Pendle Hill, had a photo shoot with a drone, overshared, <laughs> <laughs> and we've had a non-alcoholic beer in the pub and a picnic in the camper van. Yay. Yay. <laughs> you know, I swear, I never even used to go in a bar on my own, like, because I wasn't confident. I used to make my mates come out and meet me, but... Now, I just love doing things on my own and I swear it's because I'm not drinking, but it might be because I'm getting older. <laughs> um, but today I'm spending my Saturday morning going paddle boarding on the canal um, and just getting suited up. And we're going through this tunnel. It's like a mile long tunnel and you've got a time frame to get through it. So you go, you're allowed to go when the traffic light goes on green. It's a mile long. You've got to get through it before it goes on red and hopefully make it to the other side before the barges start coming through. And it's pretty cool because you're like so far under this tunnel and you've, you've literally got paddle boarders paddling on top of you as well. So hopefully I'll make it through without any accidents. <laughs> but if I don't pause for the rest of the day, maybe I've not. Um, but yeah, that's how I'm spending my Saturday today. Fresh and doing something I enjoy. Yeah. 